Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Later today, many people in the United States for the first time are going to see Floyd Mayweather's victory over Manny Pacquiao. It's going to show on HBO as part of the Saul Alvarez versus James Kirkland telecast. Now, as longtime subscribers here online know, I picked Floyd Mayweather in the fight. I personally believe there was a game gap between these two fighters. I think Floyd still has a lot left in the tank. I think Manny Pacquiao is nearing the end of his career. I think Floyd can do certain things in the ring, right? Being two-handed, uh, fighting defensively, fighting on his back foot, better than Manny Pacquiao could do. But I do believe that Pacquiao left a lot on the table here that there was a way where Manny Pacquiao could have made this fight much closer, if not taken the fight, right? To do it, he would have to do a few things that sound a bit off the grid. But I believe that crowd dynamics would impact the judges, would impact all of us. I believe if Manny Pacquiao did a few things, we'd be clamoring for a rematch. Let's talk about how Manny could have done better against Floyd Mayweather. Now, Floyd, a lot of this is hindsight. Floyd has bragged about how he knew what Manny Pacquiao was doing in his camp. Right? He's bragged about how he knew what Manny was working on, how many rounds Manny sparred each day, etc. You can imagine in a fight where both fighters are making nine figures, where there's a lot of money to throw around, a fighter could pay a lot of money to have a mole in the other side's camp. So the first thing Manny Pacquiao needed to do was to have a fake camp. In other words, if you're in a very strategic atmosphere and you sense that there might be people there who are telling Floyd Mayweather what's happening at the camp. Maybe you work on a few things that you know you're not going to use in the fight. Maybe you want the mole to actually report to Floyd and to give Floyd bad information. Maybe you want a portion of your camp that's jab heavy. Right? When you know you're not going to use the jab that much in the fight. So, you know, Manny has an inner circle, right? He and Freddie Roach go back a long way. He has certain guys who he's used in other fights. Manny can privately be developing a strategy with Freddie Roach, could be privately meeting with Freddie Roach, but the two guys, when they're in training camp, in addition to working on the real agenda, could also spend part of their time working on a fake agenda. Right? What you want to do is you want to give Floyd misinformation. Not directly, but through whatever channels Floyd himself has established. Now let's talk about the fight itself. You're Manny Pacquiao. As viewers on TV are going to see, when he enters the ring, the crowd is chanting, Manny, Manny, Manny. It's a Manny Pacquiao crowd. Right? I'm telling you, I went from the Bay Area to Las Vegas. I didn't attend the fight, but I was hanging around the fight. And my plane was a Manny Pacquiao dominated plane. Right? People around me were all talking about Manny Pacquiao. I didn't hear anybody on the plane talking about Floyd Mayweather. Right? The sentiment seems to have been at least 80% for Manny Pacquiao at least. So Manny Pacquiao enters the ring. The crowd's chanting, Manny, Manny, Manny. He's fighting a guy who's a switch. Floyd's great on his front foot. Floyd's great on his back foot. But Floyd's cautious. You know, Floyd isn't going to be aggressive in the first round like he was against Saul Alvarez. Because you understand, if you're Manny Pacquiao, you have hand speed Saul Alvarez can't even dream of. Right? Floyd's not going to be front foot. 
against your level of hand speed until he's seen it and figured out the angles. You know that. So you enter the ring. The crowd's for you. And keep in mind, it's a white collar crowd, right? These are the folks with discretionary income to throw around, right? These are wealthy people. They've shown up, they're cheering for you. These are people who don't even know how to cheer at boxing matches. But you sense they're in your corner. So, bell rings. It's the first round. What do you want to do? You want to draw Floyd Mayweather out on his front foot. Right? You know, having Floyd on his back foot countering you is having Floyd in his comfort zone in the early rounds. You want Floyd Mayweather to be uncomfortable. Right? You want to draw him out, and you also want to convince the crowd that you love them back. So if I'm Manny Pacquiao in the first round rings, I'm not on my front foot. I'm on my back foot. I'm dancing around the ring. If Mayweather is timid, if Mayweather doesn't want to come find me, I'm waving to him to come find me. Right? I want Mayweather out of his shell. I don't want Mayweather using that straight right hand as a counter. I want him using it as a lead. If he wants to come find me, be aggressive, and actually try to fight me, that's exactly what I want. Right? I don't want him countering me. I want him fighting me. Right? So what Manny Pacquiao should have done is quite frankly looked like Ali in the first round of the first Liston fight. Just danced around Floyd. The crowd's already with him. Let me say this. If there's little action, if Mayweather is too cautious to come forward, if there's little action then the crowd momentum you've built up is just going to carry over. So Manny Pacquiao should have been dancing around. Keep in mind, Floyd is trying to detect a punch pattern so he can counter. Mayweather himself in a post-fight interview talked about how had Manny shot a jab, he would have thrown punches over the jab. Right? He talked about what he was prepared for. Plan A, Plan B, Plan C. Right? The plan Manny should have unveiled was a low volume plan designed to highlight the fact that Floyd is a cautious fighter. That Floyd, for all the talk, is not there to be a lead puncher in the first round. So Pacquiao should have come out should have been dancing around. Understand, there was a distance between the two men that Pacquiao had a hard time bridging in the fight. The pattern of the fight was Pacquiao would jump in and then get hit with a straight right hand. That's the pattern in the fight. So what Pacquiao should have done to bridge the distance is had Floyd Mayweather do it. Right? Embarrass him into coming forward. You know the way it is. You come out, you're dancing around, you motion to him. Keep in mind, the crowd's chanting Manny. It's your crowd. Right? You motion to him to come fight. Come fight. You act like you're going to throw punches, but you don't throw punches. Because you don't want Mayweather seeing your punch pattern. Right? You're drawing a cautious fighter out into recklessness right if Mayweather sits back and doesn't do anything then who wins the rounds I would say it's either a 10-10 round or people are gonna get caught up in the fact that they're on your side as you enter the ring and they're gonna give you the round right let me say this too 
you want to wave at Mayweather. Understand, Mayweather's alpha. Mayweather views himself as, you know, a genius, right? He's telling all of us about making nine figures in the fight, right? Nothing wrong with that. I thought his post-fight press conference was excellent. I thought it was very revealing. I think Mayweather is very sharp, right? But you need to understand the mindset and the psychological dynamic here, right? Because of Mayweather's persona, he can't look too docile. He can't look weak. He needs to view himself as the more powerful person in the ring. Now you look at the punch stat numbers on the fight. Pacquiao throws 429 uh, punches. Mayweather throws 435. That's low volume, folks. Right? That's less than 600 punches by each guy. Right? If I'm Pacquiao, I know it's going to be low volume. I want it to be low volume. Right? Crowd's already on my side. Right? So, if I'm Pacquiao, in addition to being on my back foot early to draw Mayweather out of his shell, to have Mayweather close the distance between us, right? If I'm Pacquiao, I don't throw a jab in the round. I know that sounds ridiculous, but Pacquiao's best punch is his straight left punch, right? Straight left hand, right? His jab's never been accurate. Why throw it? Right? What you want to do is dance around, dare Mayweather to come forward. Right? Do feints, do feints, never come inside, dare Mayweather to come forward. Then if he starts to step forward at that point, as Mayweather stepping forward, not going backward setting traps, but stepping forward, at that point you want to throw only straight left hands. Throw your best punch when your opponent is not familiar with it, right? Understand, if you land any big punch in the first round, it's yours, right? Especially when the action has been dumbed down. You're not running in. You're not on your front foot. You're not running into Mayweather right hands. Instead, you're drawing him toward you. You're forcing him out of his shell. You're drawing him into the fight. And then you're throwing your best punch. Right? That's what Pacquiao should have done in the first round. Right? Let me also say something else. Momentum in boxing. If you have the crowd at the start of the first round, it's very important that you have the crowd at the end of the first round. So Pacquiao should have been in there. I'm not kidding. Acting as if a movie camera is on him. So, let's say he's there. Mayweather's not coming forward. Pacquiao should have taken a step back. Gone like this. If Mayweather doesn't come forward, Pacquiao should shake his head. You understand what I'm saying. Pacquiao should shake his head as if to say, This guy cannot be serious. Right? This guy cannot be serious. Let me go one step further. If Mayweather starts to come forward, Pacquiao should have really played to the crowd. Shuffled his feet a little bit. Right? Just looked at Mayweather. Keep in mind, you don't have to throw punches. You can just bend your knees. People are going to be excited. The anticipation for this fight was palpable. You're going to see that reflected in the pay-per-view numbers when they're released, right? Understand the gate for this fight was on a Super Bowl level, right? So what Pacquiao needs to do is to come in the ring and show Alpha that he's not Alpha tonight. Pacquiao already owns the crowd. Acknowledge them. Be demonstrative, right? Then, when Mayweather's moving forward, only throw big punches. Pot shot a pot shotter. 
right? I'll even go further. Let's say you know that if you throw a punch at Mayweather, he's going to counter you. So why not pretend to throw a punch at Mayweather, right? If Mayweather's over here, throw a punch that's over here, but just guard against the counter, right? Make it look like you're throwing big punches, right? Have the crowd ooh and ah. Have the crowd think that you're the one trying to make the fight, right? Let me say this, too. For every round after the first round, since you don't want a dynamic of Mayweather feeling comfortable on his back foot countering you, for every round after the first round, you should spend at least a minute of that round on your back foot. Right? You can't be front foot heavy against a guy who wants you to be front foot heavy. You have to work in your back foot. Let me go one step further. There's a moment, I think it's the third or fourth round, where Pacquiao catches Mayweather. Mayweather turtles. Mayweather literally goes like this, right? You know, Manny Pacquiao at that point should never have left Mayweather's chest. Jump inside. Even if he's blocking the shots, throw punches, right? Rocky Marciano would hit guys on the forearms, would use opportunities when a guy's like this to hit guys on the bicep, destroy the muscle, destroy the arm. More importantly, if Mayweather's turtled, he's not hitting you with anything. That's your opportunity to come in and flurry and give the crowd the impression that you're pushing the ball up court. Right? Manny Pacquiao instead, when Mayweather turtles, backs away. He should never have backed away, even if Mayweather's blocking the shots. Have Floyd do what he does, right? Shake his head. Right? Who cares? Right? Bottom line is you heard him, he turtles, you're up, throwing a lot of punches. Then when he starts throwing punches back, you could back away. Shake your head. Spend a minute on your back foot, saving your stamina. Now had Manny Pacquiao fought that kind of political fight, where he's drawing Floyd out, where he's throwing power punches, right? That's straight left hand. He's leading with power punches, right? And he's acknowledging the crowd, making sure he wins the early rounds when the crowd's on his side, and flurrying when Mayweather's covered up. I believe he would have won more than the three or four rounds that he won in this fight, right? The wrong way to fight Floyd Mayweather is to be on your front foot walking into his counters. The wrong way to fight Floyd Mayweather is to hurt him, see him turtle, and then back away. Right? The wrong way to fight Floyd Mayweather is to show him your punch pattern and then to predictably always be on your front foot trying to land a straight left. Right, Pacquiao should have mixed in a lot more back foot. Pacquiao, when Mayweather's off at the side, right, waiting for Pacquiao to come forward so he could throw a straight right, Pacquiao should have stayed in the middle of the ring and should have said, hey, come on, come on. Then Pacquiao himself should have been dancing around. Right? Let me go one step further. You look at the film of Ray Leonard against Marvin Hagler, and you're going to see that Ray Leonard had an acute awareness of the three-minute clock. You don't even have to. Can't you have a guy in your corner with an acute awareness of the three-minute clock so when they're like 20 seconds left in rounds, the guy like does something, maybe touches nose, 
maybe, you know, rub his eye, right? Maybe put a hand up. You know what I'm saying? Pacquiao should have had cues where he was more aware of the three-minute clock. So with 30 seconds left in a round, he could just come in and mindlessly throw punches at Floyd Mayweather. Right? Again, the punches don't even have to land. In a low action fight like this, where both guys are throwing less than 450 punches each, sometimes just volume can win you some rounds. Right? Pacquiao should have tried to steal rounds in the last 20 or 30 seconds of rounds. He has great hand speed. Right? He should have just, you know, tried to up the ante. You understand what I'm saying. So Pacquiao could have done some things better. At this point, it's too late. Right? Mayweather always does better in rematches than he does the original fight. Just think about Castillo, those two fights. Think about Marcos Maidana, those two fights. Right? Mayweather now has already seen Pacquiao's punch pattern. Pacquiao squandered the early part of the fight. Right? As I said, I thought Mayweather won the first three rounds of the fight. I'm not alone. Lou DiBella, the promoter, thought Mayweather won the first three rounds of the fight. Right? Pacquiao comes in the ring with the crowd chanting, Manny, Manny, Manny. And then didn't play to the crowd. Right? Didn't play to the timekeeper. Didn't draw Mayweather off his back foot into the middle of the ring away from the ropes and into a fight right didn't show us that Mayweather wasn't doing anything right should have been waving at Mayweather should have been dancing around Pacquiao has foot speed should have been dancing around shuffling and stuff understand a shuffle might not hurt your opponent but it excites us in the crowd Pacquiao should have been working on gimmicks like that. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Tell us the strategies you would have had Pacquiao using to try to win this fight. Right? I can tell you the strategy he did use. Coming in on his front foot, repeatedly getting hit by right hands. Right? being unable to land punches only landing 81 punches in a 12 round fight let's do the math if he landed 10 punches per round he would have landed 120 punches here he only landed 81 right his strategy seemed predictable it didn't seem connected to the crowd he didn't seem to acknowledge the crowd enough right he keeps running into the same right hand from Mayweather He's continually on his front foot, doesn't mix in back foot action. I'm telling you, if I were Pacquiao, at least a third of this fight would have been on my back foot. I understand Pacquiao's not blessed on his back foot, doesn't really have a back foot game. He should have been developing one in the months leading up to this fight. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. I thought Mayweather won this fight by at least four rounds. Let me also hear your scorecard after you see this fight on HBO later today. Thanks for stopping by.